Hey, Sherry, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. And here it is. It's the last day of February. No. No, it's it? not. No. Close. No. <laughs> okay. It's almost March. Almost. And it's 28 degrees outside here in, in Mayberry. And, um, and we are doing episode number 41. Episode number 41 of A Minute of History or Two. And it'll be good. We haven't done one in a while, and it's time. So, Sherry, what yeah. are we going to do today? Well, you know, we just celebrated President's Day. Yes. And so I, I thought that kind of set the tone for what we ought to talk about. But in order that we remain consistent, because we've talked about dinner and laying the table and manners and all of that, I thought we'd kind of combine those two things. President George Washington and rules of civility and decent behavior. You know well, about that, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, you know, you know that George Washington uh, ostensibly copied what, is, what does ostensibly mean? Uh, uh, purportedly. Oh, okay. Okay. Copied down 110 items of civility by the time he was 16 years old, kept a little notebook of all of these. 110, can you imagine that? I can't count to that. It's supposed to help with penmanship and of course, you know, just educating the person. Okay. To a responsible and moral person. So I took a look at those 110 and I have curated 18 of them that I thought we might share and discuss. So we're gonna, we're gonna share with our audience all of the viewers we have i think we're up to 320 some really no i'm lying um <laughs> don't get your hopes up um we're going to share with them some things that they might use in interacting on a daily basis with people right yeah and a lot of these are a really good idea well it's here what's give me give me your number one all right number one in the presence of others Sing not to yourself with a humming noise, nor drum with your fingers or feet. Okay, I understand <laughs> drumming is, is is rude, but what is hum to yourself or sing to your? What does that mean? Well, you, you know, you're walking around the house and you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I mean that's literal then. Yeah, that's people very think literal. you've gone a little wacko if you're walking around <laughs> singing and tapping your feet and you know unfortunately i do a little bit too much of that hand tapping and foot tapping myself but i i really need to bring that in a bit. yes i've noticed it <laughs> <laughs> let's move on to number two because this is really important okay okay put not off your clothes in the presence of others nor go out of your chamber half dressed well I've never put off my clothes in the presence of others, which is always a good thing. But thinking about uh, leaving your chamber, does that mean when I leave my bedroom in the morning, yeah. I should be totally dressed? No jammies, no yeah, slippers? No, no, no. Okay, well, that's not happening. Because you never know who might be at your house. Yeah, I'm not getting, I don't get dressed anymore until like 10 o'clock. Okay, well, everybody out there in viewing land, don't go to Tony's house before 10 o'clock. No, you're welcome. You come on over. I don't look any worse or better in my jammies than I do in my regular clothes. All right, well, moving right along to okay. number three. <laughs> okay. When in company, put not your hands to any part of the body not usually discovered. Okay, that means I can't put my hands anywhere but, like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> well, you know what? You can cogitate on that one. Yeah, I'll cogitate on that. Nice word, oh. by the way. Okay. Number four. Shake not the head. And I love this word. Bedo no man's face with your spittle by approaching too near him when you speak. Close talker. <laughs> yeah. Close talker. Seinfeld, no close talkers. No close talkers. But do you, do you like bedo? I mean, that just really... I like that. Out. Yeah. I'm, I'm disappointed that we no longer use that word. Well, let's bring it back. And, and I'm going to tell you something. I'm really, really, really tired of the word awesome. It describes everything. I don't use it. I try not to use it. Yeah, yeah. I'm over it. So, yeah, I'm so over it. Maybe we could 
move into be do. Uh, excuse me, sir. Could you step back here? Be doing me. Be doing me with your spittle. With your spittle. Ah, oh. oh, geez. Anyway, uh, so that's what four. Yeah. Okay. So number five. <laughs> Kill no vermin as fleas, lice, ticks, etc., in the sight of others. You know. <laughs> so if there's like a cockroach running across the kitchen table, taking your shoe off and smashing it is probably a bad idea. Probably a bad idea. Okay, yeah. so you should just let it scamper. Yeah, and if you have fleas, ticks, and lice, I guess you have to just sit there and endure it until you know you can remove yourself from company and then. But you, you know. If you think about the time when when George was apparently doing this 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 homework or this writing assignment, that was probably a common event. Oh yeah, I'm I'm sure it was, and bed bugs and and all that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, not good, not good, no, not good. All right, all right. Number six. This is important. Spit not in the fire. Well, if you're not going to spit in the fire, then where in the heck would you spit? Well, not in the fire. <laughs> Seems to me it would make a nice little sizzling noise. Yeah, well, you know, we're talking about uh, proper company here and decent behavior, so. Yeah, yeah I don't think spitting in public is probably, I don't think that's probably a good thing ever. No. No. All right. So, you know, there's also uh, dinner table behavior that made was made mentioned of in this list of civil behaviors. Number seven, being set at meat. I guess we should explain that means at the dinner table. Okay, set it meat. So meat being dinner, the food. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Scratch not. Neither spit, cough, or blow your nose, except there's a necessity for it. Well, that makes complete sense, and I think that, I think that's pretty much true anymore. Even today, I think we haven't gone so badly um, that we don't cover our mouths and we, we do things. You know? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, then that kind of segues into number eight, which is rinse not your mouth in the presence of others. Rinse. So do, do you mean taking the water and going? <laughs> yeah. And then okay. spit not. Remember, you know, it's a package deal, I'm sure. No, no rinsing and spitting. Can you, can you go ahead and just like, can you put that in the fire? No. Okay, well. Come on, hang with me here. All, All right, right, number number nine, put not your meat to mouth with your knife in your hand, neither spit forth the stones of any fruit pie upon a dish, nor, are you ready for this, cast anything under the table. Well, that cuts out half of my childhood right there. <laughs> I used to feed our collie food under the table, but she didn't eat Brussels sprouts because I hated them, and apparently so did she. Yeah, you know, you know, but don't, the, don't, do uh, don't throw but stuff on your table. My grandfather used to, if you put your elbow on the table when you were eating, yeah. My mother's father, uh, Grandpa Pankovic, he would take a table knife and he would slap the your elbow with the flat side of the table knife, and you didn't do that again. Ouch! Yeah, I would yeah. think not. And it all it, to this day, I I notice when people put their elbows on the table. Oh. Naughty, naughty. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. Well, and, and number 10, there's number yep. 10. If others talk at the table, be attentive, but talk not with meat in your mouth. <laughs> but you can talk with like dessert in your mouth, right? No, <laughs> I think they mean that one in the no, generic no, no, no. You know, that sounds like it's a pretty common sense kind of thing. But think about it. How many times have you had dinner with people or have seen people with a mouthful of spaghetti spewing sauce all over you as they speak. I've seen it. Wait, be doing you? Yeah, be doing <laughs> me with sauce. <laughs> oh. oh, I would hate that. We're going to move on to some general manners here next. Okay. When you see a crime punished, you may be inwardly pleased, but always show pity to the suffering offender. So when they spank little Johnny, I've got to be going, oh, poor guy. I hate that guy. I'm glad he's getting it. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's That makes good sense. I, I agree with uh, General George on that one. Okay. Well, and do not laugh too loud or too much at any public spectacle. You can laugh 
a little and kind of softly, but not loudly, not for a long time. But what we have to define is public spectacle. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah, depends on the spectacle. I'm just telling you. <laughs> if that spectacle is a big enough one that I'm going to laugh, <laughs> then I can't guarantee that I'm not going to laugh too loud. Or too long. <laughs> too long. <laughs> okay. You know, and I, I think I'm with you there. All right. Good. Thank you. All right. Now, this next one's really important. In visiting the sick, do not presently play the physician if you be not knowing therein. That means don't be the doctor. Just don't say, hey, I had that once. And I think if you do this, it'll make your arm feel better. Right. Kind of that kind of thing. Or, hey, I looked your situation up on WebMD and here's what you ought to do. <laughs> and by the way, I have a I, diagnosis for you. There's no question that the Internet has made too many people doctors right now. Yeah. No question. Yeah. So now we're going to turn our attention to wardrobe. Wear not your clothes foul, ripped, or dusty, but see they be brushed once every day at least, and take heed that you approach not to any uncleanness. What is approach not to any? Oh, that means don't get all dirty while you're out in your good clothes. Yeah, don't go jump in the mud puddle. I love that. I used to have a guy that worked with us that... Uh, his clothes were all, he always had dog hair all over his navy blue blazer. Oh, well, that'll, that'll happen. <laughs> yeah, I know it will, but you can't go to a sales meeting looking like uh, you've got a, a Shetland pony coat on. <laughs> oh, you can't. <laughs> uh, that's a true story. Anyway, go ahead. I don't play not the peacock looking everywhere about you to see if you be well decked, if your shoes fit well, if your stockings sit neatly and clothes handsomely. Okay, so what does that mean? That means don't go strutting around like you're all that. Uh, I, you I, know, I, dress neatly, but don't go around acting like you know that you dress neatly. Boy, there's a lot of people who need to read that. What number is that? Oh, 15. well, no. <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm going to make sure I post that one somewhere. So, you know, there's a, there's another thing you really need not to do. This one really bothers me. Jog not the table or desk on which another reads or writes. Don't you hate it when that happens? Well, first of all, when I'm reading, I'm usually in a chair, not a table. But, yeah, if someone was bumping the table or something, I, I mean, really? Why would that even be in here? I don't get it. Because somebody does it. It needs to be. In. Well, it's like being on the in the airlines. You know, you're in the airplane and there's somebody behind you kicking your the back of your uh, seat. Uh, I've had people. Uh, I've, and and you know because I tend not to, I tend not to say things or do things that are, you know, I'll sit in the chair and if somebody puts their chair all the way back or bumps my chair. I'm not the guy that's going to stand up and turn around or try to look at him. I just ignore it because there's no, nothing good is going to come of that. It's because you are practicing civility and George that's Washington right. would be proud. We all need to practice more civility. I can just tell you that. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. So speak not in your yawning, but put your handkerchief or hand before your face and turn aside. You know, that, that's what that means, you, <laughs> that means you can't talk while you're yawning. Yeah, I, I hate it when people do that. And then they're perturbed when you don't understand what they were saying to you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I get it. I get it. Oh. I get it. And, I, so, you know, it's funny, though. I, I used to always carry a hanky. And over the years, I just stopped carrying them. Maybe I should. I, do they even sell them? I don't know. We used to have a, a a card, a sales card in our bar, and stapled to it were something called have a hanky. Yeah. And there was like a maybe twenty four of them, and you bought them. They were like a buck or something, and you could buy. Now I don't know. Can you? You can't even. I guess you gotta go somewhere to buy hankies. I don't know. Maybe Amazon has them. Yeah, really. They have everything else. Yeah. So we have one more. Are you ready for it? Yep. While you are talking. Point not with your finger at him of whom you discourse, nor approach too near him to whom you talk, especially to his face. Or they could get 
Be dude. Be dude with spittle because they're close talkers. <laughs> yes, all of that. Oh my gosh. So, uh, and that's true. I mean, I don't know who taught me that, but you're not supposed to point, right? You're not supposed to. I mean, go figure, go finger that. Oh. <laughs> so let us take forth from these illustrious examples a more careful approach to our behavior and not go out half-dressed, eject spittle, or spit in the fire, kill vermin in the presence of others, cast anything under the table, and let's make sure that our clothes fit handsomely. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> you, know, you know, we ought to develop another 15 or 18 um, in 2022 because the list First of all, it'd be over a hundred. And second of all, it'd be so easy. There's so many things that people do um, that I can't believe I see happen all the time, you know? And it would start with, put your cell phones in your pockets and don't bring them out at dinner at a restaurant, you know? And don't oh. answer the phone during I'm gonna guess meal. wrong. It's not wrong? No, I said I would have guessed wrong. I would have guessed it would have been wear or not your pajamas to Walmart. <laughs> yeah, really. I don't know. Walmart's got some really strange people. I'm glad I don't shop there. <laughs> oh, yeah. You better do some serious editing on this. <laughs> oh, my. Well, Sherry, as always, you know, you have given us some enlightenment. enlightenment enli you've enlightened us about things that were obvious back then and should still remain so into 2022 so this has been the uh a very educational moh and um i love that you did all the research but until the next time and who knows when that might be um this is tony tominick and sherry spencer ta-ta for now